honor of having him online. Thank you very much, Nikhil, for joining Thanks. us. Thank you very much for joining us. And so you're out of San Jose, California, huh? Yeah. So how how are things in California with the uh, with the coronavirus? So right now, uh, most things are closed now. Most stores uh, we're only allowed to go out if we need to buy essentials like groceries and stuff like that. Gotcha. But other than that, we're staying at home for the most part. So you're on complete lockdown. Basically, yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing to you know stay sharp and and mentally and physically? So definitely, I know without having table tennis, like without regularly going to the club and stuff, uh, I need to stay physically fit. So I have a table at home, and I'm practicing with a robot. It's about an hour or two every day, it's shooting balls for me, so I can practice like that. And also, uh, I have a treadmill and some weights here to stay fit. Excellent. And then, are you going online at all to to try to keep yourself mentally sharp? You're going through some videos or even some uh, uh, old tape and and uh, try to keep yourself sharp that way. Yeah, once in a while I'm watching some of my own my own videos and also uh, some matches that are like some great matches that have happened in the past too of other players too. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, actually that brings up a really good point because I want to know what is your favorite tournament that uh, that you've had in the past. So by far my favorite tournament was last year's Pan American Games where we had gotten the gold medal. That's amazing. So, awesome. So, yeah. So the experience there was completely different, living in the village and everything. So it was it was a really great experience for me. So this year being your first year making it to the Olympic team, you know, I, I bet you were really looking forward to to going to Tokyo, but now it's been delayed. So what's your what's your feeling on that? You know, I, I, obviously you have another year to train and, and get yourself prepared, but you know, how are you, how are you feeling uh, that they had delayed it? So, of course, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's been delayed a whole other year. That means I have to wait another whole year for it to happen. But, um, of course, I understand the, that safety comes first for everybody and the health of everybody. So I understand that they made the right decision there. And, I mean, it was I, I was I was kind of expecting this decision to happen. But, I mean, now it means that I have one more year to practice, one more year to make myself a better player. And... Just be the best prepared I can be for Tokyo 2021. Yes, Tokyo 21, 2021. That's what they're, I think they're calling it that. So, yeah. um, and so you had some great experience the last year. Last year you played in at UCLA and you played uh, against the Chinese team. Tell us a little bit about that, you know, as far as what you learned, what you got uh, the most out of it. So, yeah, it was uh, definitely a very different experience and amazing experience to be able to practice with all these great players. Um, uh, I mean, I learned a lot from them. Learned their how to how, how to stay disciplined during practice, and also how to have endurance throughout like a whole entire uh, practice session. They practice about like three times every day, so and it was very high quality training for me. Gotcha, gotcha. So, have you started created some of the, some of rivalry going on with the Chinese team, or you know, did you, do you have any rival big rivals out there? Uh, not so much. Uh, I just, I mean, I just play every match one at a time. But okay. it was it, definitely the UCLA experience was uh, very. It's like a once in a lifetime opportunity for me, so I made the most of it. That's excellent. Great. So, tell us a little bit about how you prepare for a tournament. You know, what goes through your mind as far as physically? How do you prepare you know, mentally? How do you prepare for a tournament and 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 get yourself ready for a big match or a big tournament? So normally in the coming weeks toward the tournament, I kind of play more game situation drills and not not so much footwork, but more about like specified uh, things that I need to make sure are working. So like, so I'm confident with them when I go into the tournament itself. Okay. Also physically, um, I I kind of build up on my phys on my physical endurance and strength until like about a week before the tournament, and then I kind of slow down a little bit so that I'm. Like not uh, p killing myself too much right before the tournament starts. Yeah, because then you could wear yourself out real tired going into a, into a tournament. And you're just physically tired. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, growing up, uh, how long have you been in the uh, the sport of, of table tennis now? So when I first hit a hit, played table tennis, I was uh, five years old. Then I started competitively around eight eight years old. Okay. 
Wow. Uh, and since then, I just kept going. Never stopped. That's amazing. So how, uh, you know, what kind of big uh, uh, players did you look up to growing up? And, and, and who do you think you, you pretty much carved your style uh, of play to? I mean, um, definitely, I don't think I, I, I kind of learned a little bit of everything from like many different players, some from the Chinese national team, some from the European players, some of how left-handers play, some their serve and everything. But I definitely looked at uh, Zhang Yiko a lot. Uh, I mean, my style is definitely not close to how his was, but I definitely like the way he's play and the way he always fought in tournament. Excellent, excellent. That's great because, you know, we all have to have role models as far as when we're really shaping our craft. So that's great to see that you really took that from the beginning and, and kept that through, especially being a left-hander too. You know, left-handers I know are, are really rare in this sport. So, you know, what's one thing that you kind of really overcome being a left-hander? So I think it definitely gives me advantage with all the angles and the spin and everything. Not many players, especially in the U.S., are used to playing left-handers. So it definitely gives me an advantage a little bit. I'm able to play some wider shots that most people aren't used to. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So you got a lot of time now that uh, until the next Olympics, you know, and you're coming up, you know, you could be I don't, going on to college next. And, you know, you're only 17 years old, such, such a phenom. And you have such a bright future ahead, which is excellent. You know, we're all looking forward to, to having you uh, be a part of the Olympic team, and you know what? Obviously, you have you you spoken a lot of with the other players. What are some of the things that you picked up from some of the other uh, Olympic players on the team that help you with your with your craft? So definitely, one important thing for me is also going to knowing that I'm going to the Olympics. I need to make sure that I'm not going there just to play one match and come back. Of course, I need to be at my best game. I want to make the best result I can possibly make. Uh, just give it all my best effort I can out there. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, obviously there it's it's postponed. But what's the one thing that you when you were going to go to Japan that you were really kind of looking forward to, either the culture or something like that? Just something you I were think, really look forward to. I think just the experience as a whole. Honestly, I mean, Olympics is once every four years. Not everybody gets a chance to witness something as spectacular as that. Yeah. So. Just the experience itself, the whole village, the meeting other players from other sports, other countries, just everything in general there. And the food. Don't forget the food. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Food's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. You know, I'm going to let you get back to your training and everything. So once again, thank you and uh, good luck. And, you know, uh, thank you very much for being part of the the Pong Positive movement that we're putting together here at USATT. So I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You bet. Yeah. All right. Bye.